finally, uh, CSO 77, please. Uh, hi. Hello. Hello. Yes. You. Do we see? Okay. Thank ahead. you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to address this uh, panel. Uh, uh, on behalf of our organization, Human Rights Lawyers Network Without Frontiers, and on behalf of our uh, uh, victims of the intolerance and discrimination worldwide, first of all, um, I would like to point out that uh, discrimination and uh, intolerance is not uh, just a prerogative of uh, so-called authoritarian countries or third world countries. Um, it's often uh, the case in the countries that apparently pass the test of institutional stability and the rule of law, but uh, are indeed are not up to the requirements of protection and promotion of human rights. Uh, such a uh, case is Croatia, is a recent member of the EU with many issues in the field of human rights, especially the rights of minorities. Uh, the minorities often cannot rely on the independence of institutions and effective checks and balances in the protection of their various human rights. And according to the U.S. Department of State report in 2020, uh, there has been a significant human rights issues in Croatia, uh, included uh, discrimination and violence against members of ethnic minority groups, particularly Serbs and Roma. Uh, this case is most apparent uh, in the widely publicized uh, case of Mr. Dalibor Moce, which we often like to uh, talk about this case because it's a rampant example of uh, institutional human rights violations uh, because uh, uh, in this case uh, the person in question uh, was um, discriminated on his uh, ethnic uh, uh, origin and the uh, ethnic basis and uh, was deprived of property uh, owned by him and his family in Croatia, his inheritance rights and even parental rights to the to children he has uh, in this country. And the question to this panel and to the OSC and the ODHR uh, from us would be uh, uh, how can ODHR help uh, in the, uh, when, when it comes to the systematic uh, violence of uh, human rights and uh, discrimination in countries the OSC doesn't have permanent mission in. Um, and uh, this is, uh, I think, most dangerous uh, type of, uh, of discrimination and intolerance because it happens from the, from the state, from the system that uh, ought to protect uh, its citizens uh, from Thank these you. actions, not to condone or, yes. uh, or uh, promote. Thank you. Uh, this to, type of uh, behavior sorry, and that our to... question. Thank you very much. Thank you. We need to uh, respond. Um, some of the questions that have been raised uh, are clearly for Odia to think about, and we will. I would understand the representative of Croatia would like to offer a comment. This cannot be a right of reply because it's not a formal OEC event. Furthermore, because we have to clinch it for, and I have to say a few words at the end, you have, sir, 30 seconds. If you still want to... Thank you very much. 30 seconds. Uh, I deeply regret that on this festive occasion, where we speak strategically, where we discuss phenomena, there are certain questions which uh, target specific cases and specific countries. My name is Mario Horvatic. I'm the ambassador and permanent representative of Croatia to the OEC in Vienna. I just want to say that Croatia recognizes 22 minorities in the Constitution. Uh, more than any other European Union or any other European country. We follow closely the case of Mr. Mocevic. Uh, we encourage him to use all steps in the judiciary, which we believe in Croatia is fully fair and without any discrimination on the ethnic or racial ground. If this is uh, not satisfactory for him and his lawyer who asked the question, there is always the European Court of Human Rights, but we believe that the solution will be found in the Croatian judiciary system. Thank you very much. Thank you.